Hi there again everybody, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree DIY organizer for you. This is good for the wall, on the countertop, or your desk, or your workspace, also over the door. And this is great for any type of space, whether small or big, especially tiny spaces. So if you want to learn how to make this with only a few items from Dollar Tree, stick around and I'll show you how. You will need two cabinet shelves and you can find this at the kitchen aisle of your Dollar Tree. So you'll need two of these. Four wire baskets, the same aisle at the kitchen aisle at the Dollar Tree. These come in different sizes. They're small, uh, medium, and large. So you get the large one. Then you will need zip ties, my hot glue for reinforcements. I do reinforce my zip ties with hot glue. A cutter or a pair of scissors to cut this. You are going to be putting this together first. Right here. Since I cannot fit it inside, because if you try to fit it, it's not going to be straight anymore, and I don't like that, because I want to put four shelves, not just three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go halfway here and then just put one leg in between. Okay, so maybe just eyeball it. So uh, to give you an idea, just one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you insert it on the seventh. Okay, so, so like that. So at least you have equal distance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the seven that's when you put one leg either this one or this one and i'm going to be using my zip ties to tie them up so don't worry about zip ties showing because they're going to be hidden anyway behind the shelves you will hardly notice them try this on the other side as well Maybe keep it loose for a bit and then you tighten it once you see things straight because you don't want it to be crooked. And then this side here too. So what I'm doing here is just trying to make sure that they, as much as possible, even though they're not exactly lining up, at least they're straight. Okay, so hold this tight. Tighten your zip ties and then tighten it here. Okay. Same thing here. Same thing here. See? Yep. So make sure as much as possible it's straight. This one, make it as straight as possible. Okay, now I'm going to cut my zip ties. There's your foundation. Now I'm going to be connecting Add each my shelf. shelf. I'm going to be adding them onto each section. This is how it should look like. What's good about this organizer, you can have it standing up or up on the wall. In case you don't have wall space, if you have more counter space, put it on the counter. But if you have more wall space, put it on the wall as well. You can extend this to longer size if you want. Buy more of this and then put it as high as possible and more of this. I'm going to be tying this again with a zip tie. And this is where I'm going to be tying it. I'm going to be tying it to the bottom on both sides. So you start from the bottom because you would need the space for your hand to move around, to maneuver. If you start at the top, I'm just explaining this to make it a little bit more practical and easy for you. If you tie this up first, then you're going to have a hard time tying things below. So it may be something simple for a lot of people, but sometimes, you know, you, you will realize it later rather than sooner and then you will waste your zip ties. Okay, so just do it here. 
make sure that it's sitting here straight so just make sure that you eyeball it so that it's aligned So leave this loose again so that you have time to at least um, adjust things. So I'm putting in the last one. Okay, that's how it's going to look like. See here? So one here, one here, one here, one here. Okay. And then push it towards the back already and then tighten it. Tighten it. Same thing here. Okay, so you can see that. That's how it looks like one, two, three, four. Now with this, you don't really need to tie up again here. It's like overdoing it but if you want to it's up to you okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut again that's that see okay so here's another one make sure it's aligned same places where you put the other second shell so just tighten it Give a little bit more Make sure that it's as far back as possible so you have a better finish okay now the third shelf back as possible so you can see I'm tying up from this part here third line one two three the third line and then the same thing here it's not perfect fit but it lines up as long as they all line up okay as you can see look at that one two three now a fourth shelf on top here let me show it to you in this angle making sure that everything is tied up i am just going to turn this around okay as you can see it's now towards the side rather than the back so that it can stand without too much wobbling. See that? Oh, I love this one. Show that to you. Enough clearance, probably another inch or half an inch there for this type of bottle, the two ounce bottle. So here it is with some load on it and to counter the weight so that it doesn't topple over probably if it's going to be on your counter create another one and then put it back to back so that there's a weight and balance there it balances it out now you can use this for anything okay not just for crafting um, you know, I'm a crafter. That's why I always look for ways to do organization for my crafts. But in your pantry, if you want to use this for some, you know, for your seasonings, your bottles, you know, those short bottles of seasonings, uh, herbs, spices, and on the top one, you can put the taller ones, but still counter them with the weight at the bottom. And if it's on the wall, there's no problem because I think if you hang it on the wall, just uh, either do command hooks, two command hooks. But I will not do command hooks because uh, that's still a dollar a piece and I want to minimize so much spending. I'm just going to use heavy duty nails. Okay, so here it is up on the wall. I am so convinced that it's much better on the wall rather than on the counter or on the tabletop. But it still works on the tabletop. It's a little wobbly if you don't have another 
counterbalance or another piece to counterbalance it especially if you're putting something heavy on the top but if it's on the wall no matter how heavy it's on the top it doesn't slide or wobble as long as you have strong nails I just use comforter nails you know the thicker one or the bigger one kind of like this one here well even a little bigger than that but yeah so hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share with anyone that you know that may be in need of this type of organization who has the same problems as i do whether that person is a crafter or not or into beauty or makeup or nail polishes and the possibilities are endless comment down below and also if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe if you're a returning subscriber Thank you so much for always being here and being supportive. I do appreciate it a lot. Hope you all have a great day. Talk to you again in my next video. Bye-bye.